Jenna here with Delta Faucet. Today I'm going to show you how to install Delta Faucet's Glue Up Shower Wall Set. If you're considering installing a complete corner shower set, check out my How to Prepare video to walk you through product compatibility and how to prepare your space. As you can see, I've already installed my Delta Corner Shower Base. If you were able to install the shower base with no issues, then this install shouldn't be hard at all. But if at any point along the way you feel a step is beyond your abilities, then I might recommend contacting a professional for help. You should also know that there are some steps along the way where you're going to need to allow curing time for adhesives and caulk or sealant. Using these properly is very important, so please don't rush through those sections. Allow ample time through curing based on the recommended curing time of the product in any of these scenarios. Delta Faucet also shows a list of recommended sealants and adhesives in your installation guide that comes with your product, so check that out too. You're also going to need moisture resistant drywall behind your wall set, and it's really important that it is moisture resistant, so be sure of that. Okay, hopefully you're good, but if you wanna ensure that you're totally comfortable, it's probably a good idea to do a quick review of this install video before fully diving in. So if you feel good with it, then let's get to it. For this install, you're going to need the following tools. Advanced kitchen and bath polymer sealant, probably about 10 tubes, gloves, a 16th inch U-notch trowel, a drill, safety glasses, a caulk gun, level, a carpenter's square, a cardboard cutout from your packaging, hole saw, a utility knife, painter's tape, Phillips screw bit, a tape measure, a pencil. Okay, so grab those tools and let's get to it. As you can see, we already have our moisture resistant drywall installed and I wanna talk about that for just a second. You wanna make sure when you install this that you leave a quarter inch gap between the deck of the shower base and the bottom of the drywall. Just in case any water were to get back here, you don't want it to contact the drywall. All right, so I've gone ahead and placed a piece of cardboard down on the surface of our shower base just to protect it because I am gonna be working on it wearing boots. All right, I've gone ahead and drawn some reference lines here and these represent the edge of our wall set. Now, to get these reference lines, we're gonna take our level and we're gonna line it up flush with the edge of our shower base here making sure that it's plumb. And then you're gonna draw a line and repeat the same steps for this other side. All right, now we're gonna take our tape measure and we wanna measure the distance between our reference line and our mixing valve so we know where to drill the hole in our wall set. So we're going to take our tape measure, measure from our reference line to the center of our mixing valve. Make note of that measurement. Then we're gonna measure our vertical distance, making sure our tape measure is touching the deck of our shower base to the center of our mixing valve. Make note of that measurement. All right. Now, if you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and skip ahead to the step where we drill the hole for the mixing valve. But if you're like me and you wanna just double check, I've gone ahead and made a cardboard template here. Now, you wanna make sure that your outside edge and your bottom edge are straight and square. And you'll transfer the measurements then you'll line it up with your reference line. All right, and see where we're at. All right, looks like my measurements were good. So we can go ahead and move on to the next step. Now it's time to drill the hole in our wall set panel. So I've used my template and made sure that my measurements are correct. So now I'm gonna transfer those onto our panel. Now there is a front and a back of our panel. The Front has this protective film on it that will peel off in a later step. Now, I think it's a really good idea to make some sort of notation at the bottom of your wall set. So I drew a B for bottom right here. And if you can imagine, if this was flipped up like this, that would mean that this would be my outside edge. So I'm gonna take my tape measure. All right, so we're going to transfer our vertical measurement here. This is the bottom of my wall panel. Now we're gonna transfer our horizontal measurement from our outside edge. Okay, now we're gonna grab our hole saw. Now you wanna make sure that your hole saw is big enough that it allows you access to your mixing valve and any water stops, but small enough that your finished trim covers the hole. All right, now before we drill the hole, we wanna make sure we have a piece of scrap wood or something similar under our panel to protect our subfloor and also support our panel when we're drilling into it. All right, so now that we have all of our measurements transferred, we've double checked everything, we're gonna go ahead and drill that hole. 
All right, now we're gonna dry fit our panels in place. I've gone ahead and thrown on a pair of gloves because some of these edges can get sharp, and I've preloaded some painter's tape on here. It's gonna help me hold this panel up to the wall. All right, so it's important now to make sure that the bottom of our panel is touching the deck of our shower base on all sides. Bring that down just a little bit. All right, now we're gonna line it up with our reference line that we made earlier. All right, I'm gonna smooth this tape down working from the middle out to the edges. Then I'm gonna add some more tape and repeat the same steps for the other side. All right, now we're gonna dry fit our corner piece in place. We wanna make sure it's oriented correctly with the flat side of the shelves facing up. So we're gonna take it and set it on our shower base here, making sure there's even contact. Now I'm going to press it in place, making sure we have even contact on both sides of our walls. Now I'm gonna look up here to make sure that we're level with both of our side panels. All right, that looks good. Now if yours at home needs some adjustment, you can cut a little bit off the bottom of your side panel. You just wanna make sure you don't cut so much that it throws off the placement of your hole. And if you are doing any cuts, make sure they're on the bottom because we wanna keep a straight edge on the top. Okay, we're gonna place our corner piece to the side. Now we're gonna take some reference lines. We're gonna grab a pencil and I'm gonna trace around all edges of our two panels here. And this is gonna mark a guideline for me when I go to apply my adhesive in the next step, then I know exactly where to apply it and keep it inside my guideline. Now it's time to adhere our wall panel to our drywall. Quick tip, if you have drywall that's been painted, you'll wanna take some sandpaper and rough it up just to make sure you have a nice bond between your wall panel and your drywall. Okay, now we're gonna take our adhesive and we're gonna apply it with a trowel, nice and even, just to make sure that our wall panel sits nice and flat. We wanna make sure we stay in our guidelines with our adhesive. And you also wanna make sure you're only working with one panel at a time. So that way you have plenty of time to get the adhesive up and your wall panel in before the adhesive sets. Okay, let's go ahead and get that adhesive up. We've got our adhesive up and now it's time to set our panel in place. So I've made sure that the front is facing me, that's the side with this protective film on it. I'm just gonna set it on our shower base here, making sure it sits down on it. Now I'm gonna pay attention to this reference line here, making sure that that's lined up and use my foot to help me. All right, now I'm gonna work my way from the middle out just to flatten it. Okay, now if any glue is squeezed out, I'm just gonna take a wet rag and clean that up. And then as a last step, I'm gonna pull off this protective film here. And then after I do this, I'm gonna repeat these same steps for the other side. Now it's time to glue our corner piece in place. This is a little bit different than what we did for our side panels because we'll actually be applying adhesive directly to the corner piece. We wanna apply a thin, even layer on all the flat edges on both sides from top to bottom. We also wanna apply a thin bead right here on this lip on both sides too. Once we have the adhesive on, we're ready to set it in place. We have our adhesive placed on our corner piece. Now we're gonna set it in place just like we did when we dry fit it. So I'm gonna spin it around, making sure that our shelves are oriented correctly, flat side facing up. Now I'm gonna set this tight to our shower base deck here. And I'm just gonna apply some pressure and place it into our corner, making sure that we have nice contact on both sides of our wall here. All right, now I'm gonna use this painter's tape to help me keep it in place. And then I'm gonna apply some more strips of painter's tape up and down to help me keep this in place while we let it cure for 24 hours. Okay, it's been 24 hours and our adhesive is cured so we can go ahead and peel off our painter's tape and apply our sealant. We're gonna apply this on all sides, so along the top and the side, and then we're gonna pay special attention to the seam between our wall set 
and our shower base to ensure a tight water seal. We also wanna make sure we get it right here between our corner piece and our wall set. And then after we've applied it, we're gonna let it cure for 24 hours. All right, we've got our sealant applied. And don't forget to let that cure properly. Okay, that wraps up our install of the Neo Angle Glue Up Shower Wall Set. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Delta's customer service. They're happy to help.